In this video, we'll be going over how to create a NHaystack connector using data originating from a Niagara station and how to quickly clone this point data using the clone equipment feature. First, in the open project, click on the app launcher button on the top left corner of the UI. Then, in the system integrator app section, click on the DB Builder icon to launch the DB Builder. In the tree sidebar, I've opened up the equipment tree and the connectors tree. There are other database related trees, but I've chosen to only show the equip and connector trees. Under the connectors tree, you'll see the two default connector protocols, which are the BACnet and Haystack connector types. In this exercise, we'll only be focusing on the Haystack connector. Click on the Haystack connector tree to begin creating your Haystack connection. Across the bottom, you'll find multiple buttons related to the Haystack connector tree. In order to add a Haystack connector, click on the Add button. This will bring up a form that will allow you to fill out multiple properties related to your Niagara device. Begin by filling in the URI property field with the IP address of the device that you wish to connect to. Down below, make sure you type in the correct Niagara Station credentials into the username and password section of the form. Once you're done, click the Add button to create your new Haystack connector. The Haystack tree should instantly refresh and display the new connector, first in the primary grid view and secondly in the connectors tree to the left. If everything checked out, you should now be able to open the connector in the tree menu and view the contents of your connected device. So I'll walk the tree down until I find the equipment and points that I'd like to bring into the Fin database. Before I can start bringing my points into the database, I'll need to create my equip tree architecture. I'll start by building a site, a floor, and my first piece of equipment, which in this case is going to be the VAV01. Now that I've got my equipment made in the equip tree, I'll go back into the Haystack connector and locate VAV01 and click on the points folder. This will now bring up a view which will allow me to select all of the points that I want to bring in and then allows me to drag and drop them into the VAV01 equipment that I just created in the equip tree. As soon as the points are brought in, a warning will appear indicating that the connector points are being added to the equipment that you just drag and drop them into. Hit apply to continue. The next pop-up that appears is the batch record editor. As you can see in this tool, there are three columns. The column on the left contains library records that have been saved or added into the given library. In the middle column are all the points we've just added into the database from the Haystack connector. And on the right hand column are all of the points that have been automatically matched between the library column and the DB record column. The purpose of this tool is to allow the software to automatically match and add tags using the library record points as the models for how the points in the database should be tagged. If the points in the database can be matched to the points in the library, either by complete name or if the name of the DB point is contained in the library record, the software will automatically match up the points so that the user doesn't have to. In this particular case, about half of the newly added points automatically matched up with my pre-saved library points. The other half that did not get auto-matched can still be matched manually. If I can find in the library the point that is the model for the point that is in the database, I can manually select both points and match them by clicking on the plus button in the middle column. Once you're done matching your points, hit the apply button to automatically update the selected points with the tags and settings contained in the library based on what you matched it to. So now that my points are tagged, I'll go ahead and manually add in a, an additional VAV tag to my VAV equipment. And now that we have a perfectly tagged equipment, we can go ahead and use the clone equipment tool to clone this template to the rest of the similar equipment into the database. The clone equipment tool can be found in various locations within the connector tree. 
In my case, I want to clone my remaining VAV equipment. So I'll go down to the haystack connector and select the parent folder that they are contained in and select them. It is important that you have your navigational context set to the initial equipment that you wish to clone from. A quick way to set your context is to hover over the equipment in the equip tree on the left and select the icon that shows an arrow pointing to the right which will automatically set the equipment to be the current context. Once your context is set, click on the clone button to bring up the clone equipment form. The software automatically takes your context and sets it up as the template that it's going to be cloning from. The base URL is an important dropdown that allows you to choose which URL to clone from. In this case, I want to clone from the main folder, which is VAV01. The bottom portion of the form displays a list of all the targets that will be cloned into the database. This field is automatically populated based on what was selected when the clone equipment form was first initiated. Once you are ready, hit the Create button to clone your equipment into the database. Once the clone is completed, click on the Refresh button next to your Equip tree. You should now be able to go down to the floor that you cloned to and view all of your newly added equipment. As you click through each equipment, you'll see that the Haystack Cur has been updated to point to the correct folder path within the Niagara Station. So just to recap, all we had to do was connect to our Niagara device using the connectors tree, bring in one of our equipment and set it up as our template, and then finally use the clone equipment tool to clone those settings to our remaining equipment. As you can see, these quick and easy steps are similar to workflows used in integrating BACnet devices, but in this case we've simply connected to a Niagara station and leveraged the Haystack protocol thanks to the nHaystack jar file. Thanks for watching.